Creating new housing is one of the top priorities and challenges for San Jose. Under a state-approved plan, the city is promising to build more than 62,000 homes in the next seven years. While that seems like a lofty goal, one particular type of construction is actually thriving. Arlen Ramirez takes us inside one of the hundreds of granny units popping up around the city. Well, there have been many building booms in San Jose over the years and the decades, but this one is different because it's taking place in the backyards of homes that are already built. Here in the backyard, we had an old carriage house that was taken down. When Mark Dane's 1890s Victorian was built, no one could have foreseen the housing crisis that would come to San Jose. And so, like a fast-growing number of homeowners, he turned part of his backyard into one small piece of the housing solution. We started looking into the idea of a garage, and then that led us to an ADU, uh, especially with the accelerated permitting process and everything. Workers are still putting the finishing touches on the project, a two-car garage with an 800-square-foot apartment above it. There's a living area and kitchen, a bathroom, a laundry room, plus a separate bedroom. Mark says it will be a flexible space, a work-from-home office for now, but it can be a future place for his parents, his kids as young adults, or even a rental. One year later from the time that we started the project, we have this beautiful garage, beautiful house up here that we can use for whatever we need down the line. Mark took advantage of a 2017 San Jose policy change that streamlined the permitting process to allow the homes to be built faster. San Jose is a good place for this kind of thing to happen. There are a lot of lots that can really utilize an ADU. Stanley Acton has been a general contractor for decades, oh, yeah. but recently shifted his business to only focus on building ADUs, and he hasn't looked back. We're looking at uh, a backlog that extends well into 2025, but but we also have we also have the ability to take on short term work. Stanley is one of several ADU specialist builders in San Jose who have pre approved building plans from the city. If the property meets some basic criteria like being large enough and on level ground, pre approved plans can make the process even faster. In six years, the city has issued 2,500 ADU permits and about 1,600 units have already been built. Just this year, 68 ADUs have been completed. These are not complicated, bespoke, risky projects. San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan says ADUs are becoming a bigger factor in San Jose's housing production. ADU applications in San Jose are on the order of a, of a quarter or more of the permit applications we're seeing right now. That's a significant share of the new housing production that we're seeing in, in San Jose. It's the flexibility of the space. You know, we love the options down the line, whether it be for our kids when they graduate college, or to have family over in a time of need. It's new housing that fits in an older neighborhood and fits the needs of one growing family. How much? Well, typical costs for an ADU building run from $250,000 to half a million or more. And although they can produce thousands in monthly income for the owners who rent them, they also add to their property tax bill.